All right, I just had to go pick up a heater. It's the 80,000 BTU. My garage is 700, I think 750 square feet. This was in Lowe's for 199, so 200 bucks. Uh, I'll see how it does in this place because that little heater right there, it's okay to heat a uh, small section, but doesn't get the whole garage warm. It's just workable. So I'll go ahead and I already cut it. So see how it's packed. Not very well, but there's no damage to it. Uh, I don't think there's anything I have to put together on it. So I'll go ahead and take it out and see what it looks like. All right, that's what it looks like coming out. The only piece I need to put on, the screws are already on it, right there and back here. And yes, mount it whichever way. And it's got the tank already on it at the bottom. So it uses kerosene or diesel. So let me take it out of this now. Okay, it has little things you have to move out of the way on the back. It had the stuff stuck to the back here. This was stuck to the back, so just remember to remove it. It was stuck right here. Got a plug for power on it. It's got a gauge to tell you how much fuel is in it. Chain to keep this from getting lost. It looks like it's a digital. Yeah, might be digital. We're gonna check. And this is the on off. And then it has some specs and everything to, to read through. So I'd suggest reading the manual. It came with this manual right there. And it says up to 10 hours of runtime good for 2,000 square foot area this is less than a thousand so this should do this easy I'll find out if it goes on and off I'll be back I put some kerosene in there I'll run the kerosene because it's um, the odor is a lot better especially on startup so I'll go ahead and do that now all right, I bought five gallons of kerosene. It took, well, I put in four and a half, and that's where the gauge went to. When I read the booklet while it was doing that, I read the booklet, and it's a six-gallon tank. It is digital. The, you have the instructions for um, how to start it up, which is basically the same way like all the others you it's in the off position turn it up to the max and then turn it on and that's basically it and then it runs and then you can adjust it to where you want it all right so i'll go ahead and start it up see how she runs all right start it up good that's the noise from it heat is wow okay it's saying is 59 degrees and I have it set to shut off at 80 uh, 82 now I got it on 80 and it's 70 now 59 so it actually has a, a gauge in it too and I can already feel oh I can get a reading of that's the temperature in here which is about 58 50, yeah, around 58 so I'll be back in about uh, what's the time uh, I don't know what the time is I'll be back in about 10 minutes all right the time is 
twelve twenty six, and it's right there about fifty. Oh, well, it's already going up about fifty nine. So we'll be back. God, right, it's twelve thirty one. I just couldn't let it go all the way for ten minutes. Temperature got up to close to 70 on this side it's about 69 and a half creeping towards 70 and it's still going strong over here it's really 67 68 let me bump it to I'm already sweating. I, I'm dressed for outside and I'm in here with this heat. I'll see if it shuts off on its own. Over here now it's reading 70. Right there. And this is a long distance from where it is. It's over there. So that is doing good. Well, I'll come back when it shuts off and see what happens. All right, this is seven minutes, eight minutes from beginning, or seven and a half. That's the temperature way up on this side here, which is the direction it's blowing in. I think it should be at the 70 already. Yep, that's it. It shuts down on its own. It's reading 70. I don't know exactly when it'll turn back on. It might be a degree or two, but it's doing the trick. Uh, it says 71. Right there. So, but I'll just turn on that small one there just to keep the heat in here. But thanks for watching. All right, I turned this on right when I um when the the heat is shut off that one. And right now the time is probably an hour later. Okay, not too far from an hour later. It's about fifty minutes later. This is saying. It's back on about 63, which is not bad for in here. It's no winds, so it's pretty comfortable. This is the problem I found with this little heater. It's reading 86 degrees. So it's not gonna turn on because I have it set at 70. But that's the only fault it's got. Other than that, it runs just fine, but that'll be it.